Hi, my name is Nicole Lancaster, and I serve on the product development team for CEF. As our company began to research furniture for makerspace environments, it only seemed natural to come straight to the source. This is how we met Diana Rendina, librarian and makerspace extraordinaire. She had the idea of incorporating her students at her makerspace club. Our company has built products in the past where we have always consulted with teachers and administrators, but never have we had students design a piece of furniture. So let's check out the designs that they have for us today. The top is used to house a three pointer. Uh -huh. You put it right here, right there. And then the tops for the iPads, you can put them in between the little bumpers there. Okay. I've been, I had this idea on the first day that she told us about this challenge. Here I have a glue gun station. We have like casters on the bottom of yep. them. It takes up a lot less space and when you're wheeling it out here, it's easier. My idea was to have like a cabinet and then just Hold out. Right here uh -huh. would, be, would be slots you put a USB cable and then you hook your phone into it and it's like a little drill that shuts. I wanted to design a burner bead station. A lot of kids really love coming to the library and making burner bead creations. You also have to think about price or cost. What we have to do is we have to take your creations and try to figure out a way to build the most economically but for it to be stable and sturdy. I am like overwhelmed and impressed with you guys. I am absolutely blown away at these kids' presentation today. They've done an amazing job this year. They really came through with great designs and great ideas, and I was really proud to see all of them present their ideas so clearly. Today was just a reminder that we have to stay plugged into these schools. Getting on a plane and going and visiting schools and talking to teachers, talking to students, it's so important and it's so vital to our business. So I'm just thrilled to be here today, and it was such an honor. Today we are back at Stewart Middle Magnet School to present the winning Makerspace Club group with their prototype. We were here a couple months ago and several of the kids submitted designs to us that we took back to the factory and we picked out our favorite design. So here we are back at the factory beginning the process of prototyping the boys' design. Yeah, this is a very exciting time for us here at CEF. We just started prototyping and putting it together. We're just really happy with the end result. They are going to get to name this cart that will go into our product line. We cannot wait to do the unveiling. I wanted to thank all of you for your participation in our project. I went back and talked to the owner of our company and I said, these kids are amazing. Gabe and Thomas. Would you come up here, please? So you guys came up with an idea of a storage card. Mike, would you like to take the this sheet it? off? Yes. And this is, this is your creation. Whoa. That's 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 Within makerspace environments right now, one of the top things that we're hearing from educators is that the lack of flexibility in storage. With our cart being able to have multiple size drawers and it be on casters and it can roll from table to table within a makerspace environment, of anything we've done, it's the most exciting to us. We want it to be known that on the product development team for CEF did not create this, you created this. I was thinking in my head, you know, there's so many kids, I don't think we're going to win. But when we suddenly won, I was like, wow, this is great. I'm really excited because something that we created and now it's right here in front of us. So I just think that's really, that's really cool. About winning it, I was really excited. I like the peg idea. You can put so much more stuff on that and it just saves a lot of space. He's just so excited. He was really excited and really wanted me to be here. I'm always surprised what he comes up with, so I love it. He was thrilled and excited and thought it was so very cool. We were pleasantly surprised, not because we didn't think he could do it, but because there's a lot of people involved in this. It's fantastic. Like, they're just so creative and they have so much thought that they put into the designs that they come up with. Since I have the makerspace where it's 
time after school where we get to just have fun and build and create. I really love that. I think that's really awesome. It's been fantastic to partner with CEF on this project. I've done a lot of design challenges in the past and usually when we do design challenges we'll do a video conference with another school or I'll record videos of the students talking about their projects. But what I really like is for them to get authentic feedback. And the best way to get authentic feedback is from people in the industries that they're working on projects for. And so what I love about this collaboration that we've had together is that they're actually getting to see the design process as something more than just something they're doing in school. They're getting to see how it applies in the real world. Something that was a prototype, something that was an idea that they had built models of, to actually see that come to life in something that's real and tangible, I think is a really powerful lesson for them. We just love getting teachers and students involved, and then in this case, this was solely student-driven. So from the bottom of our hearts at CEF, we would like to thank Stewart Middle Magnet School's participation in this project. I'd like to thank Diana Rendina, and in particular, I want to thank Gabe, Thomas, and John for their thoughtful design and for allowing CEF to have a new piece of product that is is proudly made by three really smart boys.